Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to the second episode of this brand new series in Airport CEO Where your boy's building a brand new airport Now last episode, you guys loved it so much You destroyed the like button, I seen so many comments saying thank you for play some more If you want to see a third episode after this guys, do the same, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe if you are new around here But last episode, we pretty much set up a general aviation airport um, in layman's terms, I pretty much built a gas station. <laughs> Planes arrive, they park up, and then a truck comes out, refuels them, and then they off they go back on their way again. It literally, it literally is a gas station <laughs> for planes. But this gas station right now, boys, on the current day, has made eighteen thousand in profit. So, turns out this gas station is quite profitable. But you got to get a lot of planes turning around, and we are... I think the biggest change was uh, giving them fuel. Uh, that's how we get a little bit of extra cash coming in. Now, today, then, now we've got this up, and it makes a little bit of cash on the side. We're going to hopefully now start to build towards setting up our big uh, airport, or the start of building our commercial airport. we got a lot of work to do, boys. we got a lot of work to do. So hopefully we can get this all set up. So if you are enjoying this, guys, like I said, smash a like button down below. Leave a comment saying you can full play some more. And most importantly, subscribe if you are new around here so you get notified when the next episode does come out. So we've got a lot of stuff to do. It's all grass at the moment because that is the cheapest to maintain. That's how I get those extra pennies in the bank. But we need to build our building. We've got to get everything all set up. So I think the goal to be, or the goal would to, well, basically the goal for now would to be, I can't even English. Uh, is to basically get our first commercial flight landing. If I can get that happening, I would be very, very happy. So, we're going to pull up the little tutorial thing here, and we're going to now construct our next terminal. So this is going to be interesting. Now, what we could do to kind of make things easier is we could kind of integrate it with our general aviation kind of setup here. If I, I started to build the terminal here, for example, We've already got the stands in place to start accepting planes coming in. Uh, it would make the most sense, wouldn't it? As I slowly switch out. I was going to think about building a separate one and doing a separate runway. But I think I want to save the most cash, build a terminal here, and then we're pretty much geared up with all of this. It's a lot of stands, though, so we've got to be a bit careful with that. But I think it could work out. I honestly feel like it could work out. So let's plan this out, then. Let's go to our terminal. All right, we'll get rid of you for just a moment. Get out of here, boy. So go to our terminal, and we'll start to build this then. So if I come out by a... Okay, I can come out by a 10. Does it delete? It does delete the fence, so that's all good. So if I come out, if I go the full distance here with a 10, this is very expensive, guys. Now, this is only the section where the gates are. <laughs> this is not anything else. This is only the gate section. Which is very, very expensive. So that's where they go in once they've passed through security. Holy smokes, this is going to be expensive. Uh, we need to set up a whole area for where they kind of then travel through. So if this is where they enter through security, I could pretty much build security on a on a 10 by 10, do you reckon? I reckon I could do it on maybe a 15 by... We'll do a 15 by 8. That would be pretty good. And then all of this here is where all the check-in desks would be. Oh, this is going to be a big boy airport. This is going to be a big boy airport. So if I say I go to about... If I go across by a 12 by... 12 by 12, what we reckon? And that will be then the entry point to the uh, airport. So we've pretty much got this little awkward shape here. But I'm saving this space over there for larger stands that will need a lot more space. So it's a bit of an awkward shape. But we'll kind of, we can work with this. We can definitely work with this right now. It should be pretty fun. So we've got to get rid of the little walls that it does create in the middle. So get rid of those. Get rid of them. And then just up to here. So very unique. Very different. Very uh, unorganized is the best way to pull it. <laughs> uh, but it will be good, guys. Don't worry. It will be good. So even though it's kind of a little bit of a slivery snake, it's kind of all geared up to also go this way and up as well to get more stands in and get another remain on that side. Uh, th there is there is method to this madness, although it might not seem it that there truly is method to this madness. So for now, then we'll do it where the check-in desks are here, security is here, 
and then this is the terminal where you get onto the plane. Keep it nice and simple, and then we'll get the flights coming in and out. Absolutely glorious. Absolutely glorious. So now we've got to construct the terminal. So we've got to place in the kind of... Uh, oh, yeah, we got to place all the stuff in for the vehicles, don't we? Kind of forgot about that. Which would mean I need to change some of this infrastructure up as well. So let's set it up where the delivery site is on this side instead. And then the contractor site is on this side as well. And then we'll delete these two. So everything gets moved over to these areas, which then frees up this space here. So what we'll do then, put it back into play mode because we're going a little bit too quick right now. We'll get the public road. All right, what's going on here? Public road, please. There we go. And I can now create my entryway coming in. So for now, we're just going to keep it nice and simple and basic. And the road kind of comes up to that edge there. So if I brought it then down this way. I'm going to create like a little bit of a standard loop. Actually, I won't do build it just there. Bring it down a little bit further. And we need a, a bus stop. Is it a bus stop? Yes, we need a bus stop. Which, uh, where, should I, where should I place the bus stop? Maybe down here. Just there. And we also need a car stop as well. So if I did that, I'm trying to do it evenly. I feel like I can't do this evenly. I feel like we're off by one. So if I pause, delete you, get the road, public road, there. Well, I know it's not right. Oh, no, it is. No, sorry. I, I got it wrong in the first place. It's meant to hang over by one. Oh, okay. That makes me stupid. So <laughs> the bus stop can go here then directly opposite the entrance and then we'll get the car stop we'll get a couple of car stops in we'll go we'll go one one there one there or is that too many i think we'll just keep it like that for now and then we'll bring this down by another three and then that across there should be good enough so i've got to do the sidewalk as well so back to play mode. The sidewalk is what takes the longest to get done. It really does. It takes so long to get this little sidewalk done because they're individual squares. So let the constructor, the contractors kind of finish all this up just here. We'll definitely do this little section there and this little section there because we're going to have little crossings going on. And we'll bring it down here. Bring it down there. So for now, we'll just kind of cover this. So I can see us eventually getting some more stuff in. So I do, do I bring it to here instead? Right, just to there and to there. Bam. We'll mimic the another bus stop and some more car stops there, but that's how it's going to go. We'll then get the sidewalk on the opposite side of the road to enter into the airport. Right. So get rid of this for just a moment. There we go. So that's actually getting it done a lot quicker than I assumed that we're going to get it done. So that works out fairly well for us. And then we've got to get some road crossing. So I'll do a double cross in here. We'll do a double cross in there. So when they get dropped off in the center, that's how they cross over to get into the airport. Now we'll set up the doors for the airport. So we'll go from large doorways. And we'll do a double door on the entrance of the crossings. Makes life so much more easier for us. Now let's get some street lights in. So we want some good street lights. Impressive street lights, apparently. So there and there. So we'll get this all the way around. Provide adequate lighting. One there, one there. We we'll do one there, one there. And is there a different variation of lighting we could maybe do? Street lights. You got this double sided one. But then you also got the like the floodlights you can kind of place in, which I feel like will be a bit crazy. So maybe we just stick to these. Just for now. 
I think that will work out. I think that will be good for now. It's not always going to be dark. <laughs> but at least we can see, boys. At least we can see. Right, okay. So, a little bit of lighting down. They'll get more in as we go. Let's have a little fast forward. Get it all in. We could definitely do something within the middle. But we'll save that for a little bit later. So, got the basics in. Got the basics in for now. So we've got the doorway going in too, so that's all good. So we've literally got the entrance semi-built. I'll leave these until we need to get some more in. But we can kind of walk in right now, and we're pretty much there, which is glorious. Okay, so what's next on the agenda then? So constructor terminal. Uh, open the heat map panel, okay, which is just here. And display, what is it, the walkable area? So yeah, we're all connected, which is all good. The walkable area, glorious. Uh, now that we have the basic passenger flow configured, as soon as we'll be buzzing with life. Before that, let's take care of uh, the future staff. Oh, yes, I forgot. We've got to build um, the staff room. Uh -huh -huh -huh. So, I know we have to build the staff room now or kind of plan everything out uh, for my terminal. Because the staff room is going to be like in a not in an awkward position. Oh, no, it doesn't have to be an awkward It can actually go here. I can actually build a staff room just off to the side here. So if I go uh, terminal foundation, and if I just build a staff room, what's the full length of that? That is a 12. So I could do a four just there. Yeah, that should, that should be fine. We'll get a nice little door in. So door, wooden door, just here. For the staff room. All right, fast forward that. Wait for the goods to be dropped off, and then all our workers grab all the boxes and they'll build this super quick. Absolute pros, boys. Absolute pros. So we've got to designate then that, that then to be a staff room. There we go. And then we need to. So we've done that one then. Now we need to place in some office desks. So that is within here. Office desk. So let's start it just here. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, I think we should also build in some windows into this. So we'll do a two gap there. Okay, I didn't really work out. Let's scrap that real quick. Yeah. Oh, okay. We'll. we'll <laughs> I have to redo that. I didn't realize how big they were. So a two gap, a two gap, and it gives me a three there. So then walls. And we got some windows for the office, which is where all my contractors want to hang out. Hilarious. <laughs> Absolutely hilarious. Right. We're spending money like crazy, but we should get it all in. This should be a glorious start. So, little office in. Very good, very good, very good. And it should now allow me then to uh, to hopefully hire a few peeps. So, decorate your terminal by putting in some floors. So, yeah, we'll put in some floors right now. We'll, we'll do a nice little wooden floor for the office. There we go. And now beautiful hope some plants. So, this is all for the office I'm doing at the moment. So, the plants are in decorations. And we'll go for some nice little ferns in the corners. Like that. So now that's all done, we can now, uh, before you can accept commercial airlines uh, and handling its passengers, we need a commercial license. Uh, let's set the, the, up the office space uh, in the staff room for your airport administration uh, to work in R&D projects. Sweet. So we need to get at least two administrators. So this is where I'm now officially hiring staff. So applicants, we need administrators. Now we're going to go for the good ones. I don't mind paying them the big bucks. Because at the end of the day, eventually we're going to have to have some really good people. So we need two administrators. So we'll get you and we'll go for you. You're very expensive, but we got both of them. So allow us right now then to work on some R&D projects. Which we need to get our commercial license to be able to accept and start utilizing, start working with commercial planes. So we'll apply them to the project. And they'll now work on it. You can see the percentage. 
So it will take some time to get done, but we'll just play the waiting game. So while we're waiting for that then, I think we were able to kind of uh, hopefully plan out the terminal. So do I have the ability to get the conveyor belt desk? Oh no, okay, so I think I actually need the commercial license to be able to get any of the check-in desks. Hot diggity damn, boys. Hot diggity damn. Right, while we're waiting then, let me pause. And let me get some more additional lighting in. So we could do some lighting down here and here. And I'm just trying to match where I've done it up there. Um, how how does this look if I kind of went for something like this? Where's the center bit anyway? I mean, I can't really get it centered. It's not how it works. But I feel like they 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 feel a bit off, placing them where I want to place them. So infrastructure anyway, we got the two of the car stops. You know what we haven't got? Taxi stops. Two taxi stops right now, and we'll do another bus stop as well. So bus shelter, bus stop, have you in. Can I place in the shelter? We go for a nice glass. How does that work? Does it go over like that? Like this? I'm not too sure. I think it goes over like that. I could be wrong. Wait, it doesn't even fit the full distance. Doesn't even fit the full distance. How weak. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Right, anyway. We'll get this additional stuff in. Extra lights are now in. All taken care of. Taxi stands are in. Extra bus stop is now in. Right, glorious. Right, how far are we with this then? I mean, I could hire more administrators. There's nothing stopping me doing that. Applicants hire you and hire you so i've now got two more which i can now go through this twice as quick um kind of part due to uh, unsuitable oh we need to repair the runway oh that's not repaired i need to hire a repairman that's what i'll do but we'll get onto it when we got more stuff to repair Right, very, 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 very basic setup, but this should do us justice. This should do us some justice right now. It's a, it's a, it's an honest day's job. It's a simple, yet honest airport, guys. Nothing to brag about here. Right, this is almost done, man. Come on, come on. I'm excited. So once this is now done, which is perfect, next... I can now get all the stuff in. So, great stuff. Let's then start with the desks. And we'll start then with the check-in desks. And I reckon we do it side to side. Because if I build a conveyor system, that will be the easiest way to get the good well people in and out. So, I reckon we start... I reckon we start it about here. So, if I did one there... And then one there. So we'll double it up. One there, one there. And I'll try and mimic it on this side. So one there, one there. Double it up, one there and there. Now what I'll do is I'll get the wall in. Because this is all going to be like a staff zone in many ways. Wall in there and there. Now I'll do the wall going up just like that. Now it's two enough. I don't know. I mean, let's say two enough. I've got eight. I've got eight. Do I do another another set? Let's just do another set. I will have to eventually replace them. Right, so that's, uh, that's going to be 12. I mean, that's for all the stands that I've got there. Is that going to be enough? Right, I'll, I'll, do <laughs> I'll do eight either side and leave it as that. Okay, we'll leave it like that. So get you going across. I'll uh, get this to here and then close it in. And then we're going to designate that little staff area. So in terms of zoning them, it's going to be a staff zone. So no passengers can be on this side. 
Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, there is room for more down here, but I've left it open because that's where the walkway of people coming in. We can drop some chairs here as people wait to check in. So yeah, that should should work out. So I've got that in. Now we need to designate the... Uh, oh, I was going to get some plants in, wasn't I? Yeah, let me get some decorations in real quick. So let's go to play mode. I don't want to speed across too much. I could go quite large with the plants. Well, that one just got messed up, didn't it? Quite large, just to separate each area. And then we do have the ability as well to kind of build a queue system. So I don't know how much I would want to stick this out by. So if I did that one to there, and let's say, so that went, okay, I see where it's going to end. It leaves me with this open gap. I just want to see if it's like enough room to bang in a couple of chairs. So if I went there, it leaves that open there, it leaves two open. I could go here and here. And that is where the queue starts. Now if I scrap those two. And if I placed this. What was the spacing of these now? There. Oh wait, the spacing was completely off, wasn't it? That goes there and that goes there. That's how it could work, right? So if I put you here in line with the plants in line with the plants a little bit of seating right now that could ultimately work out fairly well or do I keep this open as the walkthrough? See, that's the other problem I've got as well, isn't it? It's trying to keep places open maybe on like an information desk here so what if I went for the your standard right where's the desks desks information desk this will be the one all right if I went for the information desk here oh <laughs> this is good this is good and then my my, my seat in arrangement so I could definitely do one here and one here. A little bit of seating going on. I reckon we do like a little bit of a seating area around here as well. Because we're going to need some restrooms. Alright, if I go one there, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Would that be enough? If I go five then. Because that could then go like this here. That could go. Like that for a little bit. Because we're going to filter more for the center as they then go into security. But then here I'll build some toilets. This is glorious. So what we'll do as well. We'll do some, like, we use flooring as a way to guide people through. So do I go for, like, a red carpet to be, like, a guidance? So if I went, like, to there, for example, and run this all the way up. Because in the airport, they strategically use flooring as a way to guide people to where they need to go to. It's it's like a little bit of a trick of the trade. So bam, bam, bam. And then we can just kind of... The flooring sends people to their destinations. There we go. Glorious. 
And I don't know what to do like the rest of the floor though. So I mean, I'm not really too sure. Marble, concrete, light concrete. I mean, how does it change things? I mean, that's pretty much the same, isn't it? Marble. I mean, it's all the same. I'll go for a darker color, but we don't really have much flooring options, do we? Go for like a tile floor. I reckon we go, we'll, we'll go marble. Make it nice. I mean, spending this money, it's actually not too expensive, so we can kind of get away with that. All, right, all marble in. Push this up to it. We'll only go to here for now. Because I may want to do something with the queuing system. So what if I chose to do like a blue for these guys? Which is going to be kind of annoying in terms of here. But then you can kind of tell where you need to then go. If I go back to the marble, cut that off there because that's where the entry point is. Oh, this is really good. We're using floor to direct people to where they need to go. I'm impressed. I'm I'm already impressed. I'm already impressed, guys. Right, let's leave that for now because you can get too carried away with doing all of this. Uh, we've done all that. We now need to plan out where we're going to have the restroom. So what we'll do, we'll filter them all in. Or we'll try and filter them all in. So we'll build a restroom, and we'll go two away from there. So that's two away. To like building this little corridor system. So this is the restroom before security, and then we'll build one after security. So building one after security, what is the distance of this? That is an 80. Obviously this going across there is a 130, but I could come off this and just make them a little bit more shorter and stubbier. So that goes by the three almost. There to there. Well, what's going on here? Oh. Pause. I just realized that is not really within play in like. All right, we'll add to there. I'm going in line with this column here, which would be here. That straight across, which means I get rid of this. Which is a bit annoying. Because of that little join there. But it is what it is. I can't really do much about that. So you filter into security here. Then they get filtered out. And then the entries for the toilet doors will be elsewhere. But this kind of sets everything up quite nice, doesn't it? So I won't worry about building the restrooms just yet. We'll get onto those a little bit later. Are these being deleted, by the way? They are now. They are now. We just got the rooms in place to where they need to be. So now we can build our security zone. So passport control, baggage scanners, uh, body scanners. I don't think you get body scanners just yet. It's not in the tier one zoning stuff. So we want to make it a, a secure zone. There we go. And I got to remember how to do this right now because the way we got to set it all up is a bit different. So, I, oh, I forgot about the exit as well for the passengers. I forgot we've got to do the exit for the passengers as well, guys. Oh, that's kind of thrown me off now. It's kind of slightly thrown me off, that has. Right, we'll get into that in just a moment. So, the we've got to take... Well, in terms of security right now, all I can do for them is make them go for a security checkpoint. There's nothing else I can do at this moment in time. So I reckon then we kind of push this back ever so slightly. And I, I reckon we go to just there. I'm about to do something about that... Uh, set up okay so one two three should i get these spaced out 
Because I'm, I'm not going to have that many. I'll just get them spaced out so it looks like there's more than what there actually is. So, three, four, five, six. And then when we start to need more in, I can then just squeeze them in these little areas. But what I'm thinking of here is, if I put... The way to get out of the security like this, it's a four... Right, this could be interesting. Right, okay, 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 okay. So four, one, two, three, four. So it'll be here. So I'm going to build a wall going through. Like this. So that's a four. And then a four back. Four. So you, they walk around here through security to exit out. You, you see how that goes? So my secure zone would be like this. I think this is one of the things that I always forget when it comes to doing the security side of things. Because I've also got to do a baggage claim area as well. Which what I could do when I if when I do eventually build it is build something down here so when they come around they exit this way to baggage claim then exit straight out. Which means I can bulk up my security a bit more and go further down. Interesting boys. So now we've got that sorted out, we're gonna place down some more of this uh carpet stuff right now. So bringing this directly up, so we know we go in here so we'll just get these situate oh no they're gonna be um would they be blue i think these might be blue but then again we've got to sort out the queue for them don't we so it's a case of It's a very, very basic queue. <laughs> but it's better than no queue. But I'm always trying to think of like 10 steps ahead. Because eventually we can always push security backwards to make it even bigger and better. So if I then go to the marble floor, because we've got to then trim some of this off. Oh, I trimmed a little bit too much off of that one. There we go. And then the red will come up. So if I do it like that, connect you in. So you can kind of see where we then run with it. We'll do this little middle gap going all the way through. Oh, I love this. I, I absolutely love this right now. This is a great idea. This is a great idea to get this all sorted out. And then you'll have like all this edging done as well. Which is quite a bit of work. All the way down there. There we go. Alright. We'll get just to here. To here. Now, we're, I haven't really sorted anything out here. But I'm just going to kind of cover it in marble. Just to leave it like that. Nice. We got a nice little red, white, and blue going on. If you're British, red, white, and blue. This is for you. If you're American, red, white, and blue. This is for you. If you're French, oh, damn Frenches, red, white, and blue. This is for you. And any other country that has red, white, and blue. This airport's for you. <laughs> right, okay. So, 
that's now done by the way we now got our place in some boarding desks so i reckon we'll just turn two gates into our normal kind of commercial and not to push it too far to begin with because we, we could quite easily overload the airport so i gotta be a little bit careful so two gates and desks we need a boarding desk which is you and oh hang on i gotta turn this in this whole area into a secure zone don't i there we go once you're through passport security you're now in a complete secure zone so desks boarding so if i mimic where should i place them that's a good question Um. Hmm. How do I get rid of the uh the overlay? Right. Hold on. Desks. There we go. That's better. So if that's the edge, right, we'll try and design it nicely. All right, Z. If that's the edge, I'm just going to do this here and then do that there because that's where the edge is. Because not to create it as its own individual room, but, you know, we can kind of like border it all off. So we'll only turn these two for the most part right now in, into this setup. So if I do that two there one two oh is that the right way i don't think that's the right way is it i've been in the wrong way around let me check these the arrow yeah the arrow pointing into it is where you go into it so one two one two so now they're placed in we'll get the walls connected up to there to there and we need to then place... I think the door gets placed in automatically, right? Let me just fast forward and get these done. I mean, when you connect the stand to the gates, the, or to the, the, the desks, I think a door automatically appears. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. But uh, we're going to have to then connect. So, dismiss aircraft, no. How do I connect right now? Oh, do you do it from the gates? Connect the stand. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't create the door. Or is that because i got to turn this to a commercial one? Alright, dismiss the aircraft. Okay, it, it does do it. Dismiss the aircraft. Right, perfect. Perfect, boys. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So what we'll do here, then, we'll just kind of... Back to play mode. Just kind of... Mess around with these walls. Oh, to be honest with you, that's where you, you enter on this side. And that's your exit. Uh, then again, I suppose it doesn't really matter too much. But if I go to here... And then do that. I'm just playing around with ideas. As the entry in. Or. I completely flip it. Right, I'm going to delete all the... Oh, no, 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 no. Yes. How do you delete these now? Oh, you got to disconnect them. Right, I'm going to do the opposite way around. Let me get them all deleted. because I've got a better idea for this, guys. I've got a better idea. So, desks...
So we go one. Bam, bam. Is that not going to get deleted? Oh, I forgot it takes away the secure zones as well. Desks, boy, desks. Right, there we go. So, the whole reason for that is... If I get rid of this... If I bring the wall down there... They enter from this one side here. So if I brought this up... And then directly in... Through in and the exit just comes directly out. Which I can just kind of set it up like this. So that does what it needs to do there. Bam. 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 Yeah, why not? Because then it gives me space here to do stuff with it. And that works out fairly well. So, better system, hopefully. You're just trying to make it look good at the same time, isn't it? Oh, did you not get connected? No. So that's now all in. That's now all in place. We can pretty much open up the airport then for commercial flights, but we have zero contracts. Uh, but I'm going to quickly just get rid of you and we'll just nicely, we'll try and set this up a little bit nicer. So can you create queues on these? You kind of can't, but what we'll do is we'll place it down ourselves right now. So we know we're kind of coming to this area. So we'll do it like that. We'll kind of center it. Is that about it? Yeah. And then the red. I mean, does the red even matter at this point? We'll need it, we'll need it down here. Now, we did a four wide gap, didn't we? So, that's about it. Yep. So, bring that down so far. And if I bring it to here, one, two, three, four, and it goes in its directions. Right, we'll leave it like that for now. We've got to do it all here as well. This is all set up for future baggage scanners and whatnot. Hopefully this works out. Yeah. Right, I think we're pretty much almost there, right? We're pretty much almost there. So we've got to enable the airport now. Let's go into play mode. We've got to enable the airport now. Uh, because Oh, no, sorry. We've got to enable the runway to accept commercial flights, which that's done. Now we need to... Uh, the new staff room looks really nice, but it seems empty. Let's hire some fresh stuff. So we need to now hire a bunch of passenger service agents. So these are the ones that check people in uh, at the kind of um, check-in desk and then check them onto the plane at the boarding desk. So passion service agents. Oh, sorry. We need to uh, go to the ones that we're hiring. So how many do we need? Four. One, two, three, four. I'll go five, six, seven. So I'll just hire a few extra anyway. So now we've got those. We need to hire four security officers as well. So these are the ones that will work on our... Um, checkpoints just there so security officer always hire the good ones i mean you can filter as well by decent people well that's the four officers there needed and then four ramp agents so i'm not sure if this is geared up to being solely for one gate or two gates i'm not too sure so we now gotta wait for the staff to arrive via the public entrance They'll get into their positions. Very exciting. And we'll be ready to rock and roll. So while that happens then, we, we, we've got to have the ability to play, put some plants in down here, right? So we'll go for some uh, nice large-ish plants. Yeah, we'll go one there and there. Well, that area is not 
a secure zone. It is now. A couple of plants in just there. What else we got we can kind of throw in? We'll go for a medium one. Uh, bam. Oh no. Oh no. He's only gonna made it one wider, hasn't he? He's only gonna made it one wider and ruined the whole feng, sh feng shui of this place. That wall needs to be over by one. Uh, uh, clear stand. Make sure the current stand is... Wait, what? Right, now it's closed. There we go, clear. What a noob. What an absolute noob, boys. What an absolute noob right now. Right, carpet-wise, it's all got to be moved over by one. So annoying. So annoying right now that I've done that. So that would be here, and then where that was there, it would be here. There's a two gap, isn't there? Yeah, but it also work out better than if you've got it in the right place. Right, fast forward this. We'll get, you know, you won't notice any difference, boys. You won't notice any difference once this is all done. Right, play mode, secure zone. Um, for the tenth gazillionth time, the desks. How are these placed in? They're in just here, isn't it? One there, one there, and get the walls in. Straight bang down to there, there, and now you don't know any different. So fast forward this then. Get that work in. We've got a couple of security officers right now already at uh, the passport control area. How many did we hire? I'm sure we hired more than two, right? Where's the other ones? Oh, hold on. Do the do I need to set this up from oh no passengers and staff can go through them. Right, this is now all in. Select both of these, connect you up, turn you on. Right, good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, so, what's next on the agenda? Uh, enable ramp agents on our operations. So, enable ramp agent service. Very good. So, you're now, uh, we're now finally ready to accept the first commercial flight and greet some passengers. First off, we need to sign the master contract with the airline. Okay, so now we're gonna accept my first contract from an airline company. Right, what are you guys' problems? Where are you trying to get to? Uh, you're trying to get to zone, secure zone, staff zone. Where's the target area? I don't quite get it. Are you trying to get from here to here? You feeling okay? <laughs> You feeling good, okay, boy? Anyway, economy, uh, off, accept the contracts. No, we need offered contracts, don't we? And we're going to change this to airlines. So who do we go for first is the question. Who do we go for first? Do I go for one of the games uh, companies or do I go for like a, a real company? You got Lef Do you go for Lufthansa? Uh, they do have a small aircraft that would want to land here. So I'll sign a contract with them. We'll go through uh, also to Iberia with small airlines as well. And I reckon we'll just go for them for now and just see what happens. Uh, so now then, in our flight planner, we should be able to schedule, if I pause, because today is Sunday. Uh, Saturday, sorry. On Sunday, get rid of you. Do we have any flights offered? No. We'll wait for Monday. So they've got no flights offered at all. Well, that's not good. <laughs> I might just have to accept a few more then just to hopefully get some. Right, we go Stripe, Jumper, Fly Penguin. So on Sunday, there is, again, zero flights. 
being offered on any of these guys Monday no so Havana Goose Wings Strada Regional oh oh okay Sunday there's flights offered here for who are you you are Strada Regional and it's only one flight so we'll get that straight away in the morning confirm and then that is it <laughs> oh goose wings right we'll, we'll stagger that slightly so this is all for sunday by the way guys this is all for sunday so we just got to play the waiting game for sunday morning Uh, we've still got loads of stuff to do anyway. We've got to build the toilets, you know, all that kind of jazz and whatnot. But yeah. Not bad, not bad. we got more flights. So for Sunday, Havana have now got some. Well, we'll give it a larger gap between each of these flights. Don't want to completely overload the airport now, do I? Right, no more flights coming in. Or do we? I think you got to go out of it and then come back into it. So we'll go for you there. These are quite wide gaps, but I don't want to overload myself too much. I don't overload myself too much. Right, there we go. So now it's a case of just waiting for the next day. We have two stands geared up for it. Let me repair the runway. Can I hire a, like a repairman? Is it uh, it's a it's a da, 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 service technician, isn't it? Well, I've hired three service technicians. Hopefully they'll help me out in the long run. Uh, can't employee can't find staff room. Make sure staff room is accessible for walls and zones. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You can quite easily go to work. <gasps> oh, passengers! Passengers are here! Oh, this is good stuff. Now, what's the ratio that I've got it on in terms of the gameplay settings? I've got it on 100%. Okay. Great, 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 great. So, my first set of passengers are now here. This is exciting. This is very exciting. So, wait until they've got the ability... <gasps> oh... I know why. I know what's going on. We don't have a door to get into these areas. Can they walk through this though? I don't know 100%. Uh, doors. All right, we'll go for a door there and a door here. Is that one of the, the issues I've got? Has the plane arrived? Oh, this is all too exciting. This is all too exciting, boys. So the plane should arrive soon, right? Why is no one getting checked in? What's going on with you guys right now? Can't reach a job site. They want to get to here. I've just opened up the door. To the staff zone. So what is your problemo? The plane's arrived, but no one's even checked in. Wait, what's going on here? Staff zone. The door's now in the staff zone. Right, sometimes this works out in our favor. Saving the game. Right, once it's saved, load the game. Because sometimes it like it, it does get a little bit confused, but I can't see how we've got the issues anywhere. Right, the staff are now making their way. So this flight is going to be... Our first flight ever is going to be delayed. But the staff are now getting in. Now, this is one that we don't have the queue set up for. So how are we doing it, by the way? We've gone in that direction to the side, but not realizing we're going to be stuck with the other one as well. Oh, 
I've gone too far. Like that, because that one's fine. It's got more space to do it. These ones don't, because this one's got a back onto it as well. Like if I was to do this one. That's how it plays out. But that's pretty good. They go through security. They're making their way to the plane right now, which, we, like I said, we are slightly delayed. <laughs> but they're going to get on the plane. They are going to get on the plane right now. So fast forward. Now we have to wait for our passenger service agents to get over here to start checking people in. They can't have fuel. I believe they take, um, not Avgas, the Jet 1A fuel, right? Isn't that what they take? So we're now waiting for the staff to get here. There we go. So they'll soon start letting people get on the plane. And we get a couple of pennies for everybody that gets on. Now it's not enough to make us some serious profit, but it's a glorious start. It is a glorious start. There's more people over here now waiting. Oh. Go ahead and build the queue system. How far do I take this again? I forgot. There we go. So you can kind of you can kind of see where it's all going to come into place. It's quite it's, yeah, it's pretty straight. It's quite good. It's quite good. So let's check our balance anyway on the old daily, mate. We are losing money. We always are losing money, but for the first time ever, we're now getting more money coming in. So we'll have parking fees for the uh, general aviation, uh, but now we're getting passenger fees coming in. And this is all we're really getting. It's still the same runway usage. Nothing really changes on that. We don't get the parking fees because they're not general aviation. So where we lose in the parking fees, we gain in the passenger fees. Now, this is where we need to get more flights coming in, more passengers coming in. Uh, we need to start offering more services. We need to build the bathrooms, maybe charge a few pennies for the bathroom and get everything all in. But we got to tell, our current goal right now is to turn around five commercial flights. Which shouldn't take us too long. It should not take us too long. They're now exiting, which is glorious. But every, everything is going to change, right, when they start demanding bags. Because <laughs> I've got to redesign all of this. Which won't be a problem, because I'm going to make them kind of come down this way. And have a baggage claim area here. So, like I said, it will all work out in the end. It will all work out in the end. Uh, these guys are waiting to get on the plane right now. I think we need more passenger service agents as well. Because by the time it takes them to get over here, the plane will be slightly delayed. But they're now all starting to get on the plane, right? Yep. Yeah. Through the little door that we set up. Glorious! I like it when a plan comes together, boys. I like it when a plan comes together. So, we've still got loads of more work to get done. This is a great start, though. A great start. But hopefully we can get it to the point where it's making profit again. Um, it shouldn't be too difficult. We have spent a lot of money. But you never know in this game. You never know. It can be quite stressful. But uh, just keep working on what we've got set up so far. And then it'll be absolutely beautiful. I could turn all the other stands into uh, commercial as well, but we'll just see how those go. Guys, we're going to end it here. I hope you did enjoy this. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, goodbye.